We begin with that crazy overnight crime spree. LAPD just gave an update. We thought it began as a burglary, then to a pursuit that led to a bridge closure. But it actually started before that burglary and involved a lot more suspects than originally thought. Assignment manager Mark Liu is live at the desk. And Mark, what have we learned now? A lot, uh, Amy. This story has taken a bunch of twists and turns this morning, but Detective A. Megan Aguilar from LAPD's headquarters division just gave an interview down at the Long Beach International Gateway Bridge that says that this entire crime spree started an hour and a half earlier than we thought over in the Rampart Division, that's just west of downtown LA, with a carjacking and a kidnapping. Then those same suspects allegedly went and burglarized a pharmacy in Wilmington, went on a pursuit and jumped out on the bridge. And that's where our video begins. Let me show you what it looked like this morning. This is Long Beach Fire assisting LAPD in searching for as many as 11 suspects that were in a white Mercedes SUV that abandoned that SUV here on the Long Beach International Gateway Bridge in Long Beach. Now, the initial report was that someone had fallen off of this bridge and had gotten themselves stuck on a catwalk and had died. Well, it turns out, Turns out that suspect not dead and not stuck. And after many, many hours, SWAT was unable to locate that person on the bridge. They were able to get away. But this this is the pharmacy that was burglarized by those 11 suspects in that carjacked car from West 8th Street over in the Rampart Division. LAPD says they interrupted the burglary here and all 11 suspects got in the car and took off made it to that bridge, got out and ran. Now, LAPD says with the assistance of Long Beach police, they were able to take six of those suspects into custody. They're currently working and identifying them, and they think they may be tied to even more crimes. Take a listen to what Detective Megan Aguilar told our crew. That's what the ID checks are for, but there's also some things that will be recovered from the car that detectives haven't disclosed yet. That may also lead them back to additional incidents that occurred overnight as well. No weapons. There are burglary tools that would have been used in the commission of the burglary this morning. So we'll be collecting those, fingerprinting those. Maybe if we have an opportunity for DNA, we'll gather some of that. So lots of evidence in that white Mercedes SUV and the five suspects that are still on the loose. LAPD says there's not an active search for them anymore, but they are gathering a ton of evidence from that Mercedes SUV to help track down those five suspects that are still on the loose. And Amy, even though they were able to break into that pharmacy, it doesn't appear they were able to get anything out as LAPD interrupted them during the commission of that burglary. That is the very latest here from the desk. I'll send it back to you. Wow, quite the crime. All right, Mark, thank you.